Live backstage, KS1075 Summer Jam 17, and joining us is uh, is a young woman who is just uh, blowing up all over the place. We love to have her right here at Summer Jam. Give some love to Iggy Azalea. Iggy, 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 who that, who that? How you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm good very good. Good to see you. Uh, congratulations on uh, your major success uh, thank you. with uh, not only a fancy but problem as well. Thank you. Number one and number two on the Billboard chart. Yeah. First person to do that since the Beatles, have them both together. Pretty nice. Um, when you heard that, how'd you feel? Um, very accomplished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good good achievement. I definitely didn't think I would uh, get to hear that in my lifetime so yeah <laughs> it's nice good surprise that's a big surprise sure. yeah um who uh, in the industry are you eager to work with is there anybody you have your eyes on that you would love to collab with not right now i, I you know my thing i really like to kind of when i start working on a record i like to have a listen around and see who's new and coming up and i like to work with new producers and new artists and i still feel the same after releasing this record so um that's not to say i don't want to work with anybody but i'd really like when i start uh working on my second album again probably in december i'll have another look around and see who i think um has something new that i'd like to kind of add to to what i'm doing sonically and hopefully i can give some up and coming people a, a shot on my record. I like doing that. It's fun. Awesome. Nice. Iggy Azalea backstage, KS1075, Summer Jam 17. I was reading somewhere where you know, when you first moved to the States, you were down south. Yeah, I was. And you really got a lot of influence from southern hip hop. And yeah, you can like hear that too. You yeah. can kind of hear that in, in I'm how from you play. the country in Australia, you know. So I think uh, even before I moved to America, I just always loved the southern rappers and I liked. Uh, I liked hearing them talk about being from the country and it made me feel like it was cool to be from the country and uh -huh. um, where I was from I didn't feel very cool being from the country. It was cool to be from the city yeah. and the country wasn't so cool and so listening to southern rappers even though maybe I wasn't from southern America it yeah. made me feel like I had some pride to be from a small town or a small place and so I think that's why I really kind of that was something I could relate to in, in music that I geographically was so far away from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The country's kind of country wherever you are. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> now you're about to celebrate a birthday. I am tomorrow. Happy, happy yeah, birthday thank early. You. Thank yes. You. I we saw the pictures of you celebrating with, with Nick. It was his yeah, birthday last week. On a double birthday vacation. Yeah. Have a good time. Swaggy P. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. You guys are very cute together. Thank so. you. So thank you guys you. look like you're very much a, a loving couple. Yeah, we had a good time. We have a lot of fun. Nice. Very cool. Well, your girl Sadie's has a question or two, or mm -hmm. actually five. Okay. Well, actually. Five I, in 30 seconds. Rapid right? fire. Rapid, rapid fire. fire. <laughs> it's, it's called five questions in 30 seconds or less. All right. Are you down? I'm down. All right. We're going to start the clock. Here we okay. go. Right. First question, favorite food? Oh, uh, that's probably just chicken, rotisserie chicken. Not Ooh, fried, girl, okay. come on. Good. No, I like rotisserie. <laughs> no, you like your fried. <laughs> fried's good. Yeah, right. fried's good, but I like rotisserie chicken because I like to... I like to get Hawaiian sweet rolls right. and I like to Ooh. dip it in there. Oh, that's good. So, so that's why it wins. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Second Thanks. question. Now we know you have your group, Nick, but who was your celebrity crush from the beginning? Like, who would you watch on TV, like, just gogging over? Um, That's funny because me and my boyfriend were having a, a <laughs> conversation about this last night. He said, Did you ever like Backstreet Boys when you were a kid? And I said, No, I liked. Five, this boy band, and I always Five. was very obsessed <laughs> with. Uh, Whoa, cool I loved that. Jay. He had an eyebrow piercing. <laughs> right. I was really into him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now he has a beard. Um, uh, and he's only wanted. 34. I was like, what? You better watch out, Nick, or I'm gonna leave you from <laughs> for Jay from Five. Okay. Fourth question. Pet peeve. My pet peeve. Oh, you know what I don't like? I really hate it when I'm in a really nice restaurant. And everything's perfect, and I hate if the waiter leans over the table and they don't say, part of my reach, that really yeah. irks my nerves. Okay. Yeah. All, right. Hurts my nerves. Okay. All right. All right. Fifth and final question, okay? This one you might have to think about. If you were starring, mm -hmm. and I mean like headlining, okay. in a porno, what would your porno name be? <laughs> my porno I'm name? Sorry, I don't you know. Because there's so many good names. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I am not sure. I don't Long know. legs? <laughs> yeah. Blondie? Blondie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right. All right something works. to think about. I'll think about that for you. You'll get back to me. I know you will. I will. <laughs> Much success, uh, continued success. 
because everything's going well right now for you. And uh, we appreciate you coming out to our big show. And no, show, show Denver me. what you got. I will. I will. Ladies and gentlemen, live backstage, KS1075.